The Limpopo festive season road safety campaign is kicking off with Premier Stan Matabata overseeing operations at the Mansole Weight Bridge in the N1 South. That inspection will focus on public transport like buses and taxis, overloaded buckies, as well as general compliance by motorists. Our reporter on the ground is Dondani Takalani. He's live to us now from that site. And Dondani, uh, this is an important uh, story to be watching in a context where there have been concerns raised by the health MEC over a, ride, uh, over a rise, I beg your pardon, in trauma-related cases caused in part by alcohol consumption. I wonder where she fits in today's operations. Well, Ayanda, you see, um, her worries are uh, in fact heightened by the possibility um, of uh, those cases going up, um, you know, as the influx of people from other provinces, specifically um, uh, Gauteng, you know, where this uh, fourth wave um, has been more prevalent there, you know. So she's worried that these cases will become, um, the cases in this province will become even more. The, the province currently has about 5,800 active COVID-19 cases for this reason a department is taking part um, in this uh, traffic operation here on the N1. She's standing right beside me and I want to start by asking her why you saw it necessary to be a part of, uh, of this traffic um, uh, operation here on the N1. I think it's important uh, for those who are visiting our province who are not vaccinated to get an opportunity to can get jabbed. I mean, it's a process that will not take you more than 20 minutes, inclusive of the 15 minutes that you will be ob observed. And secondly, this is part of the awareness. This is part of uh, informing or reminding the public that we are still in the, f we actually we are currently in the fourth wave. Yeah. And it is important because, to vaccinate because vaccines have been seen scientifically to be one of those uh, methods that can assist you, to protect you uh, from getting severe form of illness. So we are here to share even information, but to also remind people as they are coming here to say let's not forget what we saw happening exactly this time around last year. We were here. We share with you information that as you are visiting the province, remember that you might be infected and not even aware. Mm. And you are going to vulnerable people in the villages. You are going to infect them and they will not survive. And it happened like that. Mm. Now we are saying once bitten, twice shy. Yeah. This time around, we've got a vaccine. You do not have to go and risk your loved ones. Just get your jab, go home, visit your family, and after the festive season, go back home. So, so we felt it important to work as a collective, as a, you know that today we are led by the Premier. And then I felt that it is important for uh, the, the MECs to come together and make sure that uh, everyone who is visiting uh, the province is firstly safe and also leave the province with uh, the citizens being safe. 5,800 active cases is obviously cause for great concern, right? Has your message for, the, uh, for those traveling into the province to get vaccinated been um, widely spread? And how, how do you think, you know, it's going to be received really? It's not going to be easy. We must appreciate that we are currently dealing with, in psychology, we, we refer to them as laggards. You know, when you're dealing with the vaccination process, we knew in the beginning there will be those ones who will just respond when you say there's a vaccine. Yeah. I always give an example when a, an iPhone will be coming, yeah. a new iPhone. There will be those who don't even want to know what the futures are. They will just go and even sleep in the store to wait for it to come. Yeah. So those are people like us when the vaccine was introduced who were the first one to respond and to be vaccinated. There will be the other grouping which will wait. Let's see if Poppy is vaccinated, if she's sick or not, and then they will come and vaccinate. We're vaccinated all those groupings. Now we are currently dealing with the laggards. Those are the people who would say either for their own religious belief, for whatever reasons that they have, they continue to have vaccine hesitancy. So we are here for them. Okay. And we are always saying to them, we know, we know that your, your, where you are coming from, they are pop upside. We know where you're coming from. The politicians have been encouraging you to vaccinate. Healthcare workers have been asking you to vaccinate. You have not agreed to vaccinate, but you are entering Limpopo. 
You're entering a province wherein you must remember that the above 60 we've already vaccinated more than 77 percent. So this is a province wherein more of our senior citizens who are vulnerable, the above 50 we've already vaccinated more than 74 percent. So, so you are entering that province and we want you to be part of this province. We want you to do like the people of Limpopo do. We must spend time convincing these people who are refusing to be vaccinated to say come you are coming to a province where vaccine it has been seen to be saving us you are talking about more than 5,000 cases being uh, active currently these people majority of them those who are vaccinated are just on isolation with just a flu of one or two days those who are not vaccinated they are in our hospitals so if that doesn't give you a reason why you should be vaccinated, for well, those who are fighting for their lives, those who want oxygen, those who are on, on, a, on a ventilator, they've not been vaccinated. Those who are vaccinated are sitting at home, isolating, watching TV, drinking coffee. They might as well wear their mask and go to work. Um, notwithstanding what you've just said, um, is your province still preparing um, you know, for the worst? Uh, please keep it very, very brief. We are preparing for the, for the West. We always do that. But remember, our uh, style and our approach as the province is always to say, you can win this pandemic on the street. You can never win it in your ICU or in your wards. You can only win it like what we are doing here. When we go out and risk communication being our strength, telling people how to protect themselves, and this time around, we are no longer focusing on the sanitizer, social distance, uh, but we are, f the main message is to say, please vaccinate. The second message is that wear a mask. The third message is that avoid indoor gatherings. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Popira Matuba, Health MEC in the uh, province of Limpopo with an important message for would-be travelers into this province uh, during the festive season, Ayanda. Indeed, Donani Dakalani live to us there from the uh, Mansole Wade Bridge along the N1 South. Once again, appreciate that.